this afternoon as the Rockies look to take two of three from the Diamondbacks. And for Gomber, in his last outing, he would have loved to have gone longer, but he has to be pleased with the number of strikeouts he got in four innings against Tampa Bay, seven of them. His first pitch swinging Marte sends it to deep center field, but there is Brenton Doyle, one pitch, one out. On left now for Corbin Carroll. Corbin drives one pretty deep right center. That's carrying out there. Corbin Carroll high off the fence. Corbin will stop at second. He just missed another home run. He's got a one out double. The Diamondbacks not waiting around on Austin Gomber here. It looks like the game plan is to attack early in the count. Of course, why not? He got a fastball right in the middle of the plate and down where he likes it. Just missed a home run to right center field. Well, he really is starting to come around. Yes, nicely. he is. He's at second one down for Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Corbin inching off that bag. He'll stay put for now. Lourdes <laughs> shoots it the other way. Tony Parachica waving Corbin Carroll home. It's another first inning run and another early lead for the Diamondbacks. The RBI for Gurriel. Got a pitch down and away. Perfect to hit that ball through the right side of the infield with Corbin Carroll's speed. He will score the first run of the game easily. And here comes the guy that loves to hit in this ballpark. Cleanup man is Christian Walker. He's reached base nine times in his last 12 plate appearance. Gomber comes set, he throws, and Walker flinches but takes low and in. A breaking ball for ball four. And the first walk drawn by the Diamondbacks this afternoon. That'll put runners at first and second, and still only one out for Suarez. And this ball to right, Tolia will make the grab. Guriel tag, he'll move to third, so it's first and third, two outs. Another one, two. Tried to check his swing, did not, and that's strike three. So the first inning normal for Arizona. They score, but just one. Early lead for the left-hander Tommy Henry, who had a rough time against these Rockies at Chase Field March the 30th, but Tommy very much improved to begin this road trip. Ezekiel Tovar leads it off for the Rockies. The lefty Tommy Henry's first pitch is pulled into left field for a base hit. Well, Ezekiel doing just what the D-backs have been doing. Be aggressive. His fifth hit in this series. McMahon comes to the plate. 3-0 taking, and it's outside ball four. The 0-2 is hit high in the air. Not very deep left center field. It is Guriel who is calling for it. Left fielder making the catch. Quickly gets the ball in as both runners hold. Big first out with runners in scoring position early on for Henry. Two strike pitch again to Montero. Hit to the left side and through for a base hit. Tovar rounds third. He'll score. Elaris Montero ties the game with an RBI single. Eighth pitch of the at bat right here. Pitch number 20 in the inning. Swing and a miss. Tommy gets the strikeout. Went to the slider that time. That's number one for Tommy today. McMahon and Montero will take off again. And it's low, ball four. Second walk of the inning by Henry. It loads the bases for Brendan Rodgers. Two and two on Brendan Rodgers. Swing and a miss. A big strikeout for Tommy Henry on that curveball. He leaves him loaded. He's 296 with a homer. He's hit in three straight games. Blaze carries this one Get deep out. to right field. Blaze Alexander is blazing in Colorado. That's number two. And the Diamondbacks answer right back. It's got to be the shoes, Mike. <laughs> the creamsicle cleats. Boy, a good, valuable lesson early in his career. When you play a course field, you do not have to pull the ball to hit a home run. Just make good, solid contact. But another barrel, and I think they're zoning in on that fastball. And Gomber's one-two pitch. And a bouncing ball off the glove of Gomber. Grabbed on the bare hand by Tobar, and he throws it first in time to get the out. One, six, three, and put a star next to it for Tovar. Makes the difficult look easy. Top of the third inning, and Gomber delivers to this right-handed hitter, and it's popped up. That's in the shallow rights. It's a long run for Tolia. Michael on the move, slides, and he makes the grab. One sure he's going to get there. Brendan Rodgers was not either. Montero was close, but that was Tolia's ball, and he gets the job done. Chris Bryant will lead off for Colorado in the bottom of the third inning. One ball, no strikes to count. Bryant Damn. skies one. See if Damn. it can stay in the yard. Hey. Oh, the oh. catch, Lourdes hey. Gurriel Jr. Oh, my, up against the wall. How about that? It wow. stayed in there just enough. Which never happens here. Right? <laughs>
And here comes that payout pitch. And straight three call. Drop this curveball in there nicely. No two away. And it'll be Nolan Jones trying to extend the inning for the Rockies. Called strike three. Tommy Henry is in a groove here. A one, two, three, third in which Henry strikes out two. Brendan Rodgers. Lays Alexander, a little bobble, and can't pick it up. Lay is still facing some defensive challenges out there, and it, it, they've talked about it ad nauseum. Just slow the game down. One out totally at the plate. Oh. Two on, fly ball, well hit, center field. Carroll to the track, to the wall. Gone! Michael Tolia's third of the year puts the Rockies on top. Don't move, buddy. He came down here and ate a two-run guard. Two-run home run. And the Rockies take advantage of the air. They do that. A towering home run to center field. That ball was hit so incredibly high, it gave Carroll plenty of time to get to the wall with his speed. An impressive swing from Michael Tolia. Tommy Henry is back out there for the bottom of the fifth to face Solaris Montero. Montero strikes out. That's number five for Tommy. Wind is really picking up. Ooh. Tommy Henry back to back strikeouts. He rings up Nolan Jones third time today. And that's six for Tommy. Center field, Corbin Carroll backpedaling in front of the warning track. And a one, two, three, fifth. Nice job there by Tommy Henry. And two hits and a walk today for Blaze Alexander. Sixth inning continues for Arizona. Bouncing ball toward the hole. Cut off by Rogers. He'll get the out at first. Nobody more pumped up behind the play than Austin Gobber. He threw that ball from his back. He was laying down in the outfield. And Montero stays in the bag with a great grab. What a play by Brendan Rodgers. It's the third out. They really had Gomber on the ropes in that first inning, but since the home run by Blaze Alexander in the second, he kind of cruised. Had to give up. Only three singles and a walk after that. Marte punches it into left. Tell's second hit today, and he's the tying run with one out. Corbin Carroll. Bouncing ball toward first base, grabbed by Montero, throws to second. They get the out there. Lourdes today, one for three. Lourdes shoots it deep. Here goes Corbin. That ball gets down out there. Corbin Carroll coming around. He's going to tie the ball game. And there's the big hit after all. He is in there. And Lourdes Gurriel Jr. makes it three to three. His second RBI today. So we go to the ninth inning. Rockies three, Diamondbacks three. Two on and two out for Suarez. Suarez reaches out. Going to be a long run for Nolan Jones on the move. He won't get there. Marte is home. They will wave Walker. Here comes Christian. He will score. And Gino Suarez with a two-run double, and it's 5-3 Diamondbacks. He found no man's land out there. Make that acreage work for you. Yeah, absolutely. Diamondbacks looking for the series win. You know, to try and close this one out. The man who got the Diamondbacks their first save of the season here last night. It's Kevin Ginkel. One down, top of the order, Ezekiel Tovar, two for four. Tovar with his third hit of the ball game. That'll bring the tying run up in Ryan McMahon, who knows a little something about ninth inning drama. Three and one, the pitch, outside ball four. And that puts the tying runs on for Chris Bryant. They get on three and two. Got him. Yeah. Second strikeout for Ginkel. Bryant starting to hear some boo birds here at Coors Field. He's four for 40 this year, Chris Bryant, to start the season. Here we go, three and two on Jake Cave. Ball four. And now they're loaded up for Jones. A chance here, but down to his last strike. Here's the pitch. And this one hit in the air to center. Carroll underneath it. He will make the catch. And the ball game is over. Diamondbacks win it by a final score of 5-3. to three. They take the series two games to one against the Rockies.